Okay, I am going to talk very briefly, since we're near the end of the time, about a refresh that we did to the ML entities uh, models in Data Hub. So we added some functionality, did some UI fanciness, uh, and expanded lineage. So I'll just briefly run through this. Uh, all right, so as a refresher, the different models that we have in our ML ecosystem. So we have, first of all, feature tables. So feature tables are going to be reading from data sets and then producing different features about uh, a given thing. And they'll also be keyed by these ML primary keys so that you can uh, index you know, what you're talking about. For example, feature table might be keyed by user ID and have different features about a given user. Then we'll have individual runs of ML models. And so that means each time you train the model on different features or on different data, that will constitute an ML model run. And then finally, we have these ML model groups, which are collections of runs of similar models so that you can compare uh, runs across time. So what are some different use cases that you can use these ML features for? So first one is understanding lineage. We'll, we're able to track lineage from data sets into features, then the models that consume those features into the groups of models uh, that, that those models are a part of. So you can see that end-to-end -end lineage from the data being produced to the models that consume it. Um, also, since we're able to track each different run of your ML model, you can compare results across training runs. So you can see which features were used by which runs and also the results of those runs. And then finally, in, as part of the refresh, we made it, uh, we made feature tables able to be managed just like schemas. So you can update descriptions, tags, and terms for each feature from the UI. So you can manage and document your feature tables. So the things that we added just to be specific, we refreshed the UI of all these ML entity screens. So they're looking uh, new and shiny. We also enhanced lineage so that we can see that feature level lineage from data sets into the features and to the models that consume them. And then we had the ability now that you can edit tags, terms, ownership, descriptions, domains, and all the fun things that you can edit on other pages, also in the ML entity screens. And then as Shoshanka mentioned earlier in the project updates, we also now have integration for Feast at 0.18. That's coming out this week. All right, and then I love this gift that, uh, this is going to, in a very fancy way, just like this alien, we will demonstrate exactly how this works. So I can just get, walk through an example of how we can tie all these different things together. So we have this personalization model group. And here I have run one and run two. And I can see run one pulls, pulls from these two features. And then run two is actually pulling from the engagement and searches, but also signups and deactivations. So let's now I can go click into each one and take a look at how they turned out. So here's, this is the run one. It's got an accuracy of 0.9. So that seems pretty good. Can look into run two and it looks like the accuracy is actually worse. That's kind of strange. I can go back and say, well, run two it integrated a couple more features. So, so why would accuracy go down? And now I can actually go click in to see the data sources where these different uh, features came from. And I'm looking and I see, wait a second, signups are pulling from the user the deletion table and deactivations is pulling from user creation table. That's, that's awfully suspicious. And now I say, well, maybe actually these features are uh, based off the wrong data. So I can then, you know, so first I compared my different models, then I looked at lineage and now the final part of the demo, I can go and make sure that documentation is right. I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna go tag these things as broken. So I can go add that tag, or I can add some documentation. Pulling wrong data needs to be updated. All right, so now by looking, comparing those models, looking at lineage and then uh, doing my documentation and management in the UI, I'm able to make a lot more sense out of my ML models and uh, make a more sustainable uh, ML model ecosystem for my organization moving forward. So um, that's it for the demo and Maggie, back to you.